Hey, I'm Dan Large, and this is one of my work videos. I worked for Industrial Light and Magic in the 90s up to 2015. The video engineering shop was at the end of E Building, which was adjacent to what was referred to as UJ Building, but was also known as Cookie Bay because of the unknown Jerome Cookie brand that used to be warehoused in that area. We had a parking lot, we had a couple stages, we used trailers. We also had the original optical film compositor in our midst. We did shows like The Mummy. Jurassic Park. Casper was one of my favorites when I first joined the company. This is what the typical artist station looked like. The artist would keep many toys and artistic things in their midst to keep the creative juices flowing. As a musician, I can understand that. And it was fun to walk around the building and see what different artists would have in their areas. This was my desk, typical engineer's desk with Linux, Mac, and Windows. Next to me was the video engineering shop, looking like a typical shop. Lots of blue bins, crap laying all over the place. Us engineers know what that's about. Pure fun. This was a nice editing suite. We used Avid for our main film editing systems. We had a master theater called the C Theater. I maintained the quality image performance of that theater for many years. The artists would watch dailies inside of view stations that included HD monitoring. And in some cases, we had both HD monitoring and projection systems as well. We had a master control room with dubbing systems for Beta Cam SB and 3 quarter inch. We also created the first HD based video dailies playback system on the West Coast. It consisted of Silicon Graphics multiprocessor server with Ciproco rated storage for playback, created by Kip Aldridge. I leave you with a shot of our master control room and I thank you for watching this look inside Industrial Light and Magic.